Hey friends, it's Kyle from WISE. <laughs> Welcome to the future. We're here, you and I, both of us. Today we're gonna to be talking about WISE Mesh Router and some specifics about how to set it up properly in your home for optimal performance. Now before we get started, there are three things that you must have before you set up your mesh router. The first one is an active internet connection. Now this is something that you would get from your local internet service provider or ISP. Second, you need a modem. And you may already have one that was provided by your internet service provider. And third, you're gonna need a smartphone with a data connection. Now before we get into the setup, we need to answer some common questions. Like, for example, can I use Wise Mesh Router with my combo? modem and router. Now, if you look down at what the internet company has left you in your house, you may either see a modem and a router, separate two devices in your house, or you might look down and you just might see one. That means that you have a combo modem and router. And the answer is yes. Wise Mesh Router will work with your combo modem and router. We recommend that you turn off the router part of that device so that your devices in your home are only communicating with your new, shiny, Wise Mesh Router. The next question is, can I mix and match Wise Mesh Router with Wise Mesh Router Pro? Unfortunately, no. We can see where this might make sense, but these devices are actually very different from each other, and they weren't designed to work together. The final question is, how many Wise Mesh Routers do I need in my house? Well, it all comes down to how big is your space and how many devices do you need to connect. One Wise Mesh Router will be able to cover up to 1,500 square feet and connect up to 50 devices. So if you had two in your home, multiply those numbers by two. Two Wise Mesh Routers would cover 3,000 square feet and 100 devices. Now with one Mesh Router Pro, you'd be able to cover up to 2,000 square feet and up to 75 devices. Multiply that by two, you'd be able to cover up to 4,000 square feet and 150 devices. Now remember, each one of these models, you can expand up to 10 routers. And if you've got a house that big, can I come over for dinner? <laughs> Seriously, you're probably having something really good. Now, let's get into the nitty gritty of how to set up this Lamborghini of a router so you can blaze past your slow internet neighbors in no time. Now let's talk about the difference between root or base routers and satellite routers. With other mesh routers, you have a designated root or base and then designated satellite routers. With wise mesh routers, all of them are exactly the same. So you can use any of these units as your root or base and the rest as your satellite. For example, other mesh routers only have ethernet ports for the base and the satellite units don't have any ethernet ports. With wise mesh routers, all units have wired ethernet backhaul. So you can connect the base or root to your ethernet and you can also connect the satellite routers to any other ethernet port in your house for even faster internet connection. Now let's talk about placement. There are a few things that we recommend that you do so that you can have maximum performance out of your mesh routers. Number one, don't put it in an enclosed space. You may be tempted to put it inside of a cabinet or inside your entertainment center or tuck it underneath the desk, but this is only gonna inhibit its ability to provide maximum coverage for your home. So we recommend that you put it in an open area or an open space on a flat surface. And about flat surfaces, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's not put on a soft surface. You see, each one of these mesh routers emits a little bit of heat near the bottom of it because they are an active electronic device, of course. And if you put it on a soft surface, that surface is gonna absorb some of that heat and it'll impact the performance and overheat your router. So you wouldn't wanna put it on or near something that was emitting heat or put it, say, in the line of direct sunlight. Also, there are some helpful things to know about where to place these in your home. Now you've heard me say that word mesh a number of times now, and this is where that word is gonna come in real handy. Let's bring back our exact replicas that we've made of the Wise Mesh Router. Now the reason why mesh is so important is because when we're placing these in our home, 
we're gonna create a mesh of signal that's gonna cover our entire house. Imagine the top floor is your standard 1500 square foot apartment. Place this in a central area that's acceptable and it'll cover that entire space, no problem. But once we start to get into medium and large size houses, notice what happens if I were to place all of these units in a line right on top of each other. Well, all these circles of coverage would just end up in one single line and it would leave the edges exposed or would have dead spots in your coverage. That's why in medium to large size homes, you're gonna to want to stagger the routers as much as you can. By staggering the devices in this way, we've now created a mesh of signal that covers every spot of the home. We recommend that you set up your routers in this manner so that you can have maximum coverage in your home. Now let's dive into setting up these routers in the WISE app. Now remember, everything that I'm about to walk you through is also explained in the app. We put some really easy step-by-step -step instructions on setting these up in the WISE app. So in the WISE app, you're gonna add WISE mesh router just like any other WISE device. In the upper left-hand corner, click on the plus, click add device, then you're gonna select home, then WISE mesh router. And first, you're gonna set up that root router that we talked about. First, the app is gonna tell you to unplug your modem and any of your old Wi-Fi devices, your old routers, your old mesh router system, your extenders, all that. <laughs> Next, connect your WISE mesh router to your modem. And if you're setting up multiple WISE mesh routers, remember, you can start with any of them. There is no special order. Next, plug the power adapters into the outlets to power up your router and your modem. And after a few brief moments, you've successfully set up your root router. Next, the app is gonna ask you to name your new network. We recommend you use the same name and password that you used for your old network. That way, all of your devices will automatically reconnect. After a few brief moments, your root router will be set up. And then the app will ask you to add another unit or to set up some of your satellite routers. And the process is generally the same, except for one key thing. While setting up each satellite router, the app will run a router connection check to make sure that your satellite router is getting great, good, or fair connection to your root router. Of course, you wanna place it anywhere where you would get great connection for optimal performance. If for some reason you get a poor test result, we recommend moving the satellite router to a location that's physically closer to the root router and then add the satellite router again. And that's it. That's how you set up Wise Mesh Router and Wise Mesh Router Pro. Now your Wise devices and any other internet connected devices in your home can access the internet quicker and with more efficiency. Now that's a router that was built for the smart home. We'll see you next time.